good evening everyone here we will see the simple interest and the compound interest questions here only three questions are there from 2011 to 2023 we will discuss here the first question the as per the agreement with a bank a businessman had to refund a loan in a sum equal installment without interest without interest which means read the question carefully after paying 18 percentage installment he has found that 60 percent of his loan was refunded okay how many installment were there in the agreement so we have to find out the installment here this question plays a simple role but it's a important question this question appeared okay came in your 2014 as well as the same question in 2018 same question two years the same question repeated so therefore I have to be careful with this question possibility there okay so therefore try to understand one thing here 60 percentage of the loan was refunded with 18 installment so that is the concept here 60 percentage which is equal to 18 installment okay so one percentage is equal to what one percentage is equal to 18 by 60 installments 18 by 60 installment 100 percentage means uh, you are completing everything so therefore 100 percentage which is equal to 80 by 60 into 100 okay let us find the installments here you can cancel this one zero zero you can cancel then three times your so therefore three into ten becomes thirty okay thirty installments fine so the answer here is c option is the correct answer so let us move on with the next question here in 2018 one question was there but it's a time consuming one okay Anyway, you can able to solve very easily without any formulas also. A person bought a refrigerator worth of rupees 2280 with 12.5% interest compounded early. At the end of the first year, he paid rupees 8650. Second year, he paid 9125. How much he will have to pay at the end of the third year to clear the debt? okay before that uh, you need to know about what do you mean by the simple interest and compound interest okay a simple difference here is uh, simple interest means the interest is calculated uh, okay only for the principal every year only for the principal every year you have to pay that uh, interest only for every year whereas in the common interest okay what you have to pay here is okay for example you are paying so the principal here is 10,000 okay some percentage rate of interest will be there okay some let us take a 5 percentage at the end of the year the principal plus for that percentage you will get a some amount right for every year you need to pay the 5 percentage of the interest only for the principal so that is nothing but the simple interest whereas for the compound interest for this amount you need to calculate the 5 percentage 5 percentage for the amount not for the principal okay that is nothing but the compound interest In the second year what happens here some other amount will come after adding this 5 percentage okay so therefore that 5 percentage interest added with the amount right so then third year so like that it goes so that is nothing but the compound interest okay so this is the main difference between the simple interest and the compound interest okay so now let us do this one here so first year what happens the amount here is uh, rupees 2280 22800 so try to calculate the interest here so interest here is for this amount 12.5 percentage 
so therefore 12.5 by 100 okay then 0 0 cancel here if you multiply 2 to 8 into 12.5 you'll get a 2850 this is the interest what is the depth here the uh, whatever the principal here let us take the principal as a this is the principal for the first year second year it becomes the final one becomes the amount here so now try to understand principal plus the interest so therefore you can add up this thing 2 to 8 double 0 plus 2850 if you are adding this one it becomes 25650 then the amount paid first year you are paying 8650 so what is the balance you have to pay 1700 for this 1700 they will calculate the 12.5 percentage okay in the second year not with the principal okay so that is nothing but the component interest concept so now that you have to treat a principal as 17000 now you have to multiply that out with a 12.5 the interest becomes a 2125 if the interest becomes 2125 add up that so therefore 1700 plus 2125 it becomes 19125 so you are paying 9125 less that okay then it becomes 10,000 so now the third year you have to finish it finish it off so for this 10,000 you have to calculate that 12 point five percentage interest so that is nothing but a 1250 add up this one depth here is 112 you have to pay fully so therefore 11250 you have to pay so that's it so answer here is d if you're having any doubt you can ask or else we'll move on to the next question shall we move on to the next okay fine next year yes recent question 2023 2023 a yeah, principal p becomes q in one year p becomes q which means that p becomes q means it becomes as a amount here so now the a is nothing but the amount here okay so that amount here it becomes means that is q okay in one year when compounded of a lee with r percentage annual rate of interest so first of all you know the basic formula a is equal to p into 1 plus of a lee means r by 2 r by 2 by under the whole power 2t so this is the formula you can use with respect to the compounded of a lee now apply it here so the amount here is a q so p here 1 plus the rate of interest is r only so therefore r by 2 by 100 the duration here is one year therefore two into one becomes a two now next thing uh, if the same principle becomes a q when compounded annually 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 means uh, it becomes uh, r by 100 it becomes r by 100 right now in this case uh, the rate of interest is nothing but s percentage s percentage the rate of interest right now power t so the t here is nothing but a annually one year next year you can equate that uh, both the q's here equate both the q's so one year two year both the q's you can equate then it becomes a p into one plus r by 200 y the denominator to the denominator getting multiplied the whole square which is equal to p into 1 plus s by 100 here getting cancelled after you are reaching this one substitute the values for r then get the value of s then easily you can able to know the options here because they are asking you which one of the following is correct r is equal to s r greater than r lesser than r greater than r equal to lesser than r equal to these things only we have to find okay now let us take r is equal to 200 
you can take any value why i am taking 200 here is so we can do the simplifications in a simple manner okay so now 1 plus so that 200 by 200 becomes 1 so 1 square so which is equal to 1 plus s by 100 so 1 plus 1 becomes 2 to the whole square right to the whole square becomes 4 on the rhs we are having 1 i am bringing to the lhs okay then 4 minus 1 becomes 3 so now s becomes 300 with this you can conclude that the r value is 200 s value is 300 which means r is lesser than the s okay which option c option so the answer for this question is c getting everyone anybody having doubt no doubt means we will move to the next shall we move to the next okay so i am concluding simple interest component interest here we will discuss the next topic okay allegation mixture shortly okay wait a minute